Hey there, CPO here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the installation of Terraflex Quick Disconnects for the sway bar links on my 2015 JKU. We're going to deal with these bottom connection points here, remove those bolts, and then put in disconnects. And then I'm also going to install at the frame side the bracket for holding your links in place while they're disconnected. So let's get to it. All right, so basically what I'm doing is just removing this lower bolt holding the link to the axle. And we're not going to need that bolt or the nut uh, anymore, so you can uh, stow that away somewhere. And as you can see, you can't really lift this out of the way until you undo the other side. So now we're going to go over to the driver side, uh, which quite frankly is a lot easier to get to. Uh, and we're going to do the same thing and just remove that lower link. And yes, I'm an abuser of the crescent wrench in this video. <laughs> um, once you get both bottom links uh, disconnected, now you can move that sway bar up out of the way and the links will tuck up there. Now, if you were just off-roading and wanted to disconnect without adding in the quick disconnects, you could just strap your links up right there. This is where uh, the beauty of these things is, is you can uh, not have to use a wrench in the field, Plus, you have a way to tidy them up uh, and keep them out of the way when you're actually off-road. So uh, there is a frame bracket kit that comes with uh, two brackets and then the lower disconnect studs. You need two of those because they come in singles. You need one for each side. Uh, and here's what comes with the stud kit. Uh, you've got the uh, smaller washer that you use to mount the stud and then the larger washer uh, goes uh, before the uh, pin whenever you uh, put your link on. Now, in many cases, you'll have a little center uh, sleeve in the link that you need to remove to get the disconnect stud to be able to fit through there. I'm using the socket method to remove uh, that inner sleeve. And then we're gonna mount that stud right here on the uh, axle. And just make sure that you have your hole placed in a, in a way that your pin, uh, you can easily access it. Now, this is the body mount side, the upper mount. You'll notice that the stud is a lot smaller, and that's by design. Uh, it doesn't need to be a tight fit uh, when it's just stowed out of the way. So uh, it's, it's a narrower diameter by design so that you can easily just slip it on and off. So... Uh, don't think you got the wrong one like I did. I actually called TerraFlex and they confirmed with me that uh, that I had the right parts. So <laughs> just thought I'd share that with you. So we're basically going to assemble uh, this frame uh, side bracket. Uh, goes together pretty easy. It's pretty pretty simple stuff. And then remove the nut that holds the body mount. And this nut comes with sort of an embedded built-in. Uh, flat washer. It's one of those top hat style uh, nuts. The problem is is that uh, wide area is too wide to fit up with the bracket. So uh, TerraFlex recommends just using one of the nuts you remove from the links. Now here's the catch. Um, you have to do it from the top link nut, not the bottom one. Now the one we just removed to the bottom at the axle side, at least on my Jeep, um, is a different thread. It's the same diameter, but it was a, I think it was a finer thread, so it did not work. So just make sure that if you can screw it on hand tight, otherwise you'll end up uh, stripping or, or regrooving your threads. And uh, getting this thing torqued down now, it helps to add a little bit of grease to both the stud and the bushing there for the link. And it's going to be a tight fit, but you can just bustle it on there and then slip down the, uh, the big uh, flat washer and then the pin. And sometimes you got to work to get it to where that pin goes on the outside of the washer. But that's it. That is a connected link. Uh, super easy. And that's uh, what you want to do. Now to disconnect, you just pull the pin, grab your washer, 
pop that off. Again, we'll take a little bit of force. Pull your uh, link up out of the way. And then stow the link up at the frame side. And now you're ready for the trail. It's that easy.